everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to Happy at Home. Today I'm going to share with you how I made these heart-shaped pillows. They are quick and easy to make, plus I just think they are adorable. So let's get started. To get started, I made a 10 inch paper template and then I traced it out onto the fabric I wanted to use. Then using a pair of scissors, I cut out the heart shape. You can see here I cut my fabric about a fourth of an inch bigger than my traced lines. That is because I forgot to add a seam allowance when I was making my template. So when you go to make your own, make the template slightly larger or do what I did and cut the fabric larger. Once you have two pieces cut out, Layer them right sides together and pin to hold them in place. Then mark along the edge of the heart a 2 to 3 inch space that you would leave open during the sewing process. This is where you'll turn your fabric right side out and add your stuffing. Then it's on to the fun part. Place your pressure foot right against the edge of the fabric. This will give you about a quarter of an inch seam allowance, which will be perfect. Then just sew a straight stitch all the way around the heart. When you're finished sewing, use your scissors to clip the seam allowances along your curved edges. This will allow the curved edges to lay much more neatly. Then you'll want to turn your heart inside out by finding the hole on the side and tucking the fabric through the opening. This takes a little bit of finagling, but I tell you, it can be done. Once the heart is turned right side out, it should look like this with a little opening on the side. It's then time to fill the heart with stuffing. I just use a basic fiber fill that I can get at Joann's or Michael's. I just take a small amount at a time fluff it up a little bit, and then finding the hole in the side of the heart, I just stuff it in. I have found when filling these little hearts up that if you fill the opposite side of the heart first, then the nearest side, followed by the point, it seems to work a whole lot better. Once the heart was filled to my liking, I pinned the opening closed. And at this point, I could either choose to hand sew the opening shut or use my sewing machine. I opted to use my sewing machine and this is what it looks like. And that, my friends, finishes off the pillow. Don't you think it looks so adorable? I love this plaid fabric. I made another heart slightly different. This time, instead of turning it the fabric inside out, I kept the seam allowance exposed. I filled the pillow and then sewed it closed. Then to finish the raw edges, I sewed the two layers together with a zigzag stitch all the way around the outside of the heart. The finished heart sort of looks like it has a ruffle and I think it turned out really cute. When I was done sewing for the day, I had three adorable pillows which I am going to have so much fun using around my home. I think they're the perfect accent for a person like myself who doesn't really do a whole lot of decorating for Valentine's Day, but this will be just a little something special to add to what I already have going on in my decor. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, and if you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, and I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye now!